Hey guys, Machines and Mal here. I just wanted to show you this old homemade electric bike I've got here. I put this together probably about, I want to say eight years ago. It might even be longer than that. Um, what it is, it's an old BRC brand, BRC cruiser frame steel frame your, your typical cruiser frame probably sold at a department store it's got the single piece BMX crank on it so it's not anything special and um, basically what I did was I picked up this um, castle brand oh sorry not castle crystallite crystallite brand 1000 watt hub motor and laced it into a 24 inch uh, bionics i don't know if you guys remember bionics but they were one of the pioneer um, electric bike kit companies back in i would say the early 2000 era they went belly up a while back but they were one of the very first to make a a, a kit and what you would get would be a wheel not with the crystallite motor but a bionics motor uh, it would actually go on the rear of the bike it's pretty handy and you'd get a battery and a controller etc but anyway so the bionics wheel was good because it was strong and the spokes were strong so i used the bionics rim it's a 24 and uh, i've got a 26 inch rear wheel and this actually has a shimano nexus 4. so um, this is a four speed internally geared hub so there's no derailleur and there's no gears or anything it's a straight chain line all the way around which is nice and it's controlled by this four speed grip shift now i welded a i welded a, a piece of handlebar to this frame to mount this because i originally was going to have like a, a shifter like like your old schwinn i guess a chopper a rally chopper anyway we never got to that but because uh, this bike got put away and uh, I decided you know what guys the weather's nice it's a beautiful day out here at the farm and I thought maybe it's time to get this thing going again it's a bit of a hodgepodge of parts there's an old it's an old I guess that's an old rally fork on there and uh, it's got like an extension stem and an old set of ape hangers that's your controller sorry your, your throttle control right there guys and uh, this is the charger so what we got here is an EZ brand EZ 1305 is the model number 48 volt 10 amp battery pack uh, so that's sitting right there now guys that battery packs about 10 years old it's lithium-ion um, I suspect it's probably pretty tired I might get a quote to have this rebuilt so have new cells installed in it I don't know what it would cost it might just be better to um, buy another battery for this we'll find out uh, this is your controller right here and um, it's just mounted to the back of the sissy bar kind of a neat way to do it that that turns the battery itself on and there's actually a switch right there so you can see the light comes on it's flashing which means the bad I think that means the battery's low and uh, I'll just spin the wheel real quick for you this thing guys hasn't been charged in a couple years it's been sitting in my storage barn and I figure you know what maybe maybe I should pull it out try charging it up and having some fun with it but I'll just show you so with this you give it a spin and she spins around now I think if I remember correctly this thing did about oh what was it 40 kilometers an hour maybe I can't remember I'm gonna have to make some more YouTube videos about this bike I think it might be a popular item on my channel I'm gonna I'm gonna get this working really nice um, get the battery replaced or rebuilt and uh, then probably strip it and clean it right up finish the shifting mechanism uh, it's got a coaster brake in it guys so I've actually years ago I welded um, brake tabs onto this frame because I had a different wheel with with a free wheel and I put brakes on it but it's obviously been reused so probably gonna end up taking those off or cleaning them up because this has a coaster brake so when you pedal backwards it actually there's a brake inside that hub 
Um, don't really need to mess this bike up with brake cables and shifter cables and stuff like that. Kind of nice to keep it neat and tidy. So anyway, I just thought I'd, I'd fire this camera phone up and film this thing and show it off to you and uh, probably take it apart in the, in the barn shop in the next week or two and get it working right and then make a few videos on putting her back together and making her pretty and functional. And then, I'm, guys, I'm probably going to sell it. I honestly don't need it. Um, electric bikes are a hot item right now in this area. Everybody's buying them. I think a lot of places are sold out. And this is, a, like I said, this is a little bit of a Franken bike, but it's cool. And if I clean her up, get a coat of paint on there, and shine the chrome i'm sure i'll get a few dollars for it again i don't know what it's going to cost to fix the battery i'm going to charge it up i'm going to do a video about this thing all charged up and see what it gets for runtime on that battery it might be okay but uh, anyway hit the subscribe button so that you can see more videos about this project and uh, thanks for watching